Are you a digital creator or a content creator trying to figure out which platform to get on? Then you have come to the right spot. So today I am here to help you figure out which platform is gonna be best for you. Now I'm going to pick from what I call the six most popular platforms. You can actually go and look at other platforms um, on your leisure. You can just do a little Google search or any search in any search engine and you'll find the rest. But I'm focusing on these because these are the most tried and true and these are the ones that I personally have experience with because I will never ever try to teach you something that I do not have experience in or with. That's just me. But anywho, here we go. So the very first one is one that you're watching right now. It's YouTube. And I love YouTube because it is very versatile. YouTube is one of my favorites. They have SEO, it's video, but they have now started changing up the game. So you can do shorts on YouTube, and it's only been, I can't remember exactly how long, but a year or so, that you've been able to do YouTube shorts at the time that I recorded this video. And the reach of the shorts are just growing you all, and they are, narrowing in on what they could do to make sure that they're actually reaching more people, but also being more connected to your actual channel. Because when it first started out, it was a little different. They had to work out some bugs and they're still working them out. And now you all, they're giving you your own handle, which makes it easier for people to find you like on other social media platforms. So this is a very good platform to be on. Plus nine times out of 10, if your person is looking for video, then this might be exactly what they want. And I don't know about you, but when I'm looking up stuff, I type it in Google. And if it's on YouTube, the video is one of the first things that pops up. So your people nine times out of 10 will find you through Google or on YouTube because they're already there. So I personally believe that YouTube is a great fit. And on top of that, you could monetize your content through Google AdSense on YouTube. Now, there are different qualifications that I won't get into right now because today is all about helping you figure out what platform is best for you. And this takes me to my next one. So my next favorite, you all, and I don't necessarily want to call it a favorite, but I really like it. It is Facebook owned by Meta. So Facebook is pretty cool because of several reasons. For one, there are versatile ways that you could actually reach your people, your audience. And Facebook is by far the best way to reach anyone because they reach more people than most of the social media platforms out there. And the crazy part is if I'm not mistaken, there's at least a billion users in the United States can't remember. I could be totally wrong, you all, but that's what I really believe it is. And Facebook is really like doing things, you all, because what they're doing right now is super crazy. They keep adding on different things to make sure that they're reaching a huge audience and also to make sure that they're getting people on there paying for ads. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and pay for ads, but I will tell you this. The different tools that you can use in Facebook that I personally use of course, I have my personal profile, which everyone has. And no, a profile is not a Facebook page. Uh, it's a Facebook profile. But there is a page that you can use, and it's called a business page. And this helps you reach more people. And this is a way you can get monetized, but we'll talk about that later. So you definitely have the Facebook profile, the Facebook page, Facebook groups, you have reels, you have the story feature, like you all, there's so many different things and ways that you can do to reach people on Facebook. And like I said before, nine times out of 10, your target audience is there waiting on you. So here's where I go to the next part. I personally believe that if you are a content creator or a digital creator, you should definitely have a business page because not only can you reach your target audience, you can get paid for doing it once you get to the point where you can actually monetize your page. And I'm sure you've heard it before, Facebook Reels are now paying people up to what, I believe it's $35,000 per month? Yeah, per month, <laughs> um, depending on the engagement of your content or Reels. Yeah, 
But anywho, definitely go and check behind me on that. But I'm going to say this. I've been paid. However, not the 35000 which would be nice. But I'm working that way, and I hope that you would do the same because it's out there waiting on you. It's definitely an opportunity for you to, you know, dive deep into. So, so far, we've talked about YouTube. We've talked about Facebook. So the next one, I'm going to stay in the meta family and I'm going right to Instagram. So Instagram, you all, is pretty cool. And the reason I like Instagram is because it's kind of similar to Facebook, except you don't have groups and you can't just type a post out and you can't necessarily have a business page, but you do have the Instagram reels. You do have the story features and you can go live on Instagram, just like Facebook, which I'm sure I forgot to say that earlier about Facebook, but you can also go live and going live is actually a great way for you to reach more people as well. And in future videos, I'm going to talk to you about what you can do to make sure that you reach more people because you can do it, I promise, but you just have to know how. So follow me on this journey and I promise I will show you how to do that. All right, so that's Instagram. And personally, I like Instagram because it's super simple to use and you can use it in conjunction with Facebook, especially the Facebook business page. And you could actually use the um, business um, scheduler, the scheduler that they give you with the business page and you can link your Instagram account that way, you don't have to do two posts on two different social media platforms. You can do it at one time, all thanks to the metaverse, <laughs> which is amazing. Now, the only thing is that I have not found a way to actually, like, what's the word, pre-schedule the reels, because I don't think you can do that yet. But fingers crossed, I'm hoping that they will have that, you know, in there and available for us very soon. Okay, so the next one, you all, is TikTok. So I personally like TikTok, but it took me a while to get on there because of all of the things you hear about who owns it and how they have been using the data, our data. And of course, this is another country. But anywho, I like it because of the content that I can find there. Now, your people are probably on TikTok. Now, I'm going to be honest. TikTok, the largest group they have is from ages 10 to 29, if I'm not mistaken. And if you are looking for a group in that area or that range, then you are a shoe in. However, what I've noticed is that there's not a lot of content for people who are 30 and older. Now, if you, my friend, are in the 30 or older age range and you're trying to reach those people or you're still younger, but you want to reach those people 30 and older, then you have a space where you can go before it gets oversaturated. Now, if I'm honest, I don't really believe in oversaturation. However, it could be harder for you to get to the place where you could say, I'm the person known for this. Now, it can be done, but <laughs> it will be a little bit more difficult. But hey, if you're like me, you love a challenge. So TikTok is really cool because you can upload videos now up to 10 minutes because at first you couldn't upload very long videos, but now you can upload them up to 10 minutes. And on top of that, you can now do live as long as you have 1000 um, followers and you can actually do a story feature like they have on Facebook and Instagram. So as you notice, a lot of these platforms are like, trying to figure out what's working in the other ones and use it to their advantage. And as long as it's not copyrighted or whatever, if as long as that intellectual property, the IP isn't like stolen, then they could technically do it. So that's what it looks like is happening right now between those three platforms, kind of four, because they kind of all are doing the same thing. Now, as far as TikTok is concerned, you cannot really monetize on there until you've reached, I believe, 10,000 um, followers. But you can monetize in different ways that I will show you at a later date. Today is all about trying to help you figure out which platform is going to work for you and your target market. So the next one is Twitter. So Twitter just had an ownership. You know, Elon Musk is now the owner of Twitter. And 
Twitter is really good to just get your thoughts out there, to get some trending stuff, the news, whatever. I deleted it because I don't really like the news, so I don't really have the app. I don't use it as much as I used to. However, if you actually get on there and use it for your business, it really helps. And let me tell you why. So for one, if you have thoughts that come to your mind as you're doing whatever it is that you're doing, you can type it right there on your Twitter and save it, and that way you have it. And then you can actually screenshot it, crop it, and then you can like post it on Facebook, on Instagram, on wherever, and put a caption on there, like, and then it works. So you have content that you haven't lost and it's not taking up space on your device. So that is actually a good way to use Twitter as well. So the next one, the very last one that I like it. And at the same time, because I'm still learning about it, um, I, it's not my first choice, but it is Pinterest. So Pinterest is pretty cool because it's kind of like a picture search engine. That's the best way to put it. And I like Pinterest because it's a quick and easy way to find what you're looking for. And if I'm honest though, when it first came out, the best you would find is like pictures of like food and recipes and like workout stuff now. But it's crazy because just now, a lot of people in the digital creation space or the marketing space are getting on there to actually make their mark and try to sell things. So this is probably one of the best times to be on Pinterest to get your stuff sold. However, Pinterest does not really monetize the content creators or digital creators in their space. So they do reach out to a very small underserved population to monetize them. But in general, you will not be able to get monetized through Pinterest. Your chances are slim to none, like literally, but your exposure to people will help you and will also enable you to be able to make money from other people who gets their eyeballs or sees your content that you create. So to sum it up, the six that I've talked about today are in order, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Pinterest. So these are all really good. However, there are more out there. If you want to go and do your research, I definitely say go do it. And I'm going to just put a few more out there right quick. Snapchat, and I want to say Snapchat because Snapchat has been known to pay up to a million dollars for a good piece of content, just so you know. And then you have Clubhouse, you got so many more. But look, those are the two that I wanted to make sure that I put right there in front of you so that you will hear about them. But because I don't use Snapchat, or Clubhouse. I can't really tell you all a lot about it, but since you're on YouTube, you can definitely go and find someone else that can help you with that information. And that's what YouTube is for. So do me a favor, go ahead and check out the video that I talked about from last week that will help you get started, especially if you have not gotten started in digital or content creation, because this, my friend, is where you want to be. I promise you, this is where the next level is going. So if you truly want to level up content creation, digital creation is the way to do that. And guess what? I'll see you next time.